We're gonna try to go easy. I just hope nothing hits me in the ear. Hey guys, what's going on? Adam from Ackleberry, and I just got a new uh, suspension system that I want to try. And what it is is these two rappel rings uh, and a climbing type of carabiner. So the rappel rings that I'm using is a Palestin, and um, I really the, the, the brand name really means nothing to me. Uh, but they do have a rating of 25KN. I'm not really sure what the KN means. The 25KN means it's about 5,600 pounds of, um, of a weight that it is able uh, to handle, which is pretty excessive. Uh, I, I don't think that I'd be putting any amount of strength in that, per se, in my hammock, but I'm sure maybe repelling, things like that, there may be a lot more at stake, but that still seems like plenty to cover me. So I got a total of four of them. This is two right here. This is going to go on one end. Now the weight of each one of these rappel rings is 38 grams. So to me that doesn't uh, mean a whole lot just, you know, right now with the fact that I do uh, just this is spinning a hammock on that and um, just usually doing kayak type of, uh, of trips and things of that nature. But maybe if I get involved in a little bit more of, say, you know, some backpacking type of camping trips then, then the weight might make a big difference to me but uh, as far as that goes each one's 38 grams for those that might need to know. They're also made from hot forged aluminum alloy uh, so I guess that's a pretty strong material I would say if it can hold that much weight. Now the carabiner that I'm using um, and both these were got from Amazon but this is a blue uh, van walk and it is 12 kn so about half the ability of the uh, rappel ring itself so so that means that this guy can actually hold 2645 pounds of weight this is supposed to be able to accommodate up to uh, again i shouldn't be putting that much in my uh, uh, hammock especially if i'm hanging it from a 30 degree angle but uh, if i ever needed this for a different use um, well and i guess i know what i can put on it but it really amazes me because these guys are so light even the rappel rings the rappel ring is actually heavier than the carabiner, but for something that's this light, and it's 0.7 ounces, this is 0.7 ounces, and it's extremely light, so to be able to hold that much uh, poundage is, is amazing to me. So, And currently right now for these van walks uh, on Amazon, I believe that there is a uh, lifetime warranty, so if anything should happen or they should break, then uh, you should get a free one. These rappel rings on Amazon right now cost about 15 bucks, and you get a, you get four of them right now. Uh, the only color they had as a, of the making of this video uh, was these red ones, but I believe they have blue and maybe even orange if if, uh, if the color absolutely uh, bothers you. So, so basically, for a lot of those that don't know or haven't messed with this system already, uh, you're just going to end up putting the two carabiners, no, the the two rappel rings uh, on the carabiner just like that. And we'll end up putting our rope through there right now, but that's the setup. If you put it to the small end of this kind, it kind of doesn't really match up real well. Um, I think it'll work, uh, but I think I end up going on this side. So that way they lay a little bit more flat and a little more flush. So, And if you tuck one on at a time, it give you plenty of room. You snap that guy in. If you try to put him in both at the same time, it's probably not going to work. Probably not going to give you the room. Then uh, let him slide on up like that. Tuck the next guy in good to go is take this one end of the strap and we're going to lock the carabiner into it in place and that side's good we'll go over here and get our other carabiner and we'll come over to this side and also lock it into place There we go. Sure, she's good and tight. And here's how you're actually going to tie these on. You're going to have your two repel rings, just like so. So 
So you're going to take the Hennessy rope, stick it through both of these. You give myself some slack. Stick it through both of these. Then I'm going to open these up, come back through the back side, and then down between the two. I'm going to pull it out there. And that's how you'll get it. You'll see when you, when you pull on it from the loose end, if it slides like that to make adjustments, then you've done it right. Pull back on it, she'll hold. Now I still go ahead, and what I'll end up doing is looping through. This is kind of my lock nut, or lock knot, if you will. But I'm going to go ahead and loop back through both of them, like this. Well, let me get a hold of it. Back through both of them, grab a hold of it, and then go through my loop so it makes a knot. It's just like tying a knot. I'll crank that down. And then that's not going to come out. So this one, uh, the, the, the line right here is a little bit too long. So I'm just going to put, put a loop in it. Lock my carabiner onto that loop. Here we go. Felt to tighten up a little bit, but uh, full body weight on. Turn sideways. There's my full weight in it right now. Pretty cool. But it's a little bit low. She's a little low to the ground, so let's make some adjustments. Let's come over here. Pull out our lock nut, our lock knot. I keep saying nut, but I mean knot. Pull out our knot. And then simply draw more tension. A little bit more. All right. We're going to put our loop back through, tie our little lock nut, knot, wow, torque it down, give it a try now, we made a little adjustment, there we go, no slipping baby, no slipping, there it is, I like it, I really like it. Okay. We got the helicopters flying around in my neighborhood because unfortunately last night uh, there was a killing of an officer here in town and uh, that was like 11 o'clock last night. It's about 6 I think tonight and the guy's still uh, on the run so we're not 100% sure where he is but uh, they got the news choppers and stuff and big manhunt going on so hopefully they bring that guy down. They will, just a matter of time. Guys, the pros of this whole system is the fact that these rappel rings and these carabiners are very lightweight. Uh, they're very packable. Uh, you can leave them uh, either on the end of your strap here if you want to, or you can leave them on the rope uh, to your hammock. Uh, either way you want to go really is workable. And for my ultimate purpose of this was to make sure that I had a system that was quickly and easily adjustable instead of having to tie the figure eight and then untie it and then tie it back, things of that nature. And I think this actually gives me uh, that quick adjustability, but for me, it was also about not voiding the warranty. Now, Hennessy Hammocks, if you buy one, as of this day anyways, uh, you have, I believe, a one-year warranty, but unfortunately, if you modify the ropes or cut them in any way and things of that nature, it completely voids the warranty uh, on your hammock, as I understand it. So I really needed a quick system set up 
so that way I didn't void that warranty, at least until that year's up, and then there's a possibility I may switch over to maybe some uh, some other type of suspension straps, maybe the ones I think that War, uh, War Bonnet sells, or, or there's a couple others out there I think that would work. But who knows? I, I may find that these rappel rings and this carabiner uh, work out wonderfully for what I need. Uh, it's pretty inexpensive, uh, I think, to set myself and my wife up with a, a set of these on each hammock would make it about $17.50 or something like that for each hammock and I think that's very doable uh, and it might be something that you're looking for or that's something that you might be looking for also. Now maybe one con you could find with these is that you still have to throw some sort of knot on afterwards but I think even with suspension straps or with any type of suspension really uh, other than just a carabiner hook through a loop uh, as on some of the common, more common uh, lower budget hammocks uh, I think even with sus suspension straps, you still have to throw in, a lot of people do a half hitch, uh, even uh, on their strap part right here, they, they'll still throw like a, a half hitch in there or two or something like that, so I, I don't really see that as a con, but if you're just not want to tie any type of ropes, then, uh, if you're that picky, well then uh, maybe this might not still be a workable solution for you. And the one thing that I think I really like about the, this type of suspension system is that you can make some pretty fine uh, adjustments, and as long as you pull, when you set up your straps, as, as long as you give them a good tug and try to seat that strap uh, as best you can and let it tighten itself up uh, uh, right off the bat, the, the less movement you're going to have uh, when you set in your hammock anyway. So that's what I try to do here. When I put it on this tree, I try to pull it and tug it down uh, just about as tight as I can get it, and I do the same thing on the other side. Uh, and then whenever I get my rappel rings and I get my suspension set up pulled where I want it to, um, it gives a lot less. Now I do notice when I when I sit in it, and I watched when when my uh, other my wife had sat in it, it does move about a quarter of an inch maybe as this rope tightens up in here. And again, when you when you cinch it down and stuff, you, you still put a little torque on it, but it's going to move like a little quarter inch here, and maybe even a little quarter inch on the other side. So I guess if you were worried about that, you could kind of plan for that and maybe over uh, adjust it, maybe a quarter inch on each side, and that should make up for that. So. Now, folks, I did want to thank you for watching, as always. Hopefully, this uh, maybe gave some answers to a couple folks who may be looking for a type of suspension uh, that wasn't uh, some of the suspension straps or even one that was a little bit more affordable. I think the cheapest suspension straps I saw were about 25 bucks, which still would be well worth it. I think that's for a set of two. But anyways, uh, I'm going to leave the links in the description for the rappel rings and uh, also for the carabiners. There's that chopper going over. They're still hunting him down. Get them, boys. Get them. But anyways... I'll put the links in the description so you can go check these out and see the exact rings that I got and the exact carabiner that I got because apparently it holds my weight. And I'm about a 200 pound guy uh, and I have the uh, Hennessy Hammock ASIM uh, Zip Expedition. So that's the hammock that I'm, I'm, I'm using these on as well. So with just the stock ropes that come on, I think they have uh, rated for 1600 pound test. But um, also I want to invite you guys to like my Facebook page. Just search for Yackleberry on Facebook and you should find it. Um, I'll probably also have a link in the description for you as well. Just to make it easy on you guys so you don't have to go for a hunt. So anyways, thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you guys uh, hopefully on the next uh, video. I think it might be doing on the monsoon tarp that I bought with the Hennessy Hammock. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Talk to you later.